How to fulfill orders on Caesar Dropshipping, Shopify Dropshipping. Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. I hope you all are doing great and are having an amazing day. I bring you back with yet another Shopify and Caesar Dropshipping and e-commerce tutorial. And in this tutorial, we're going to be discussing how you can do dropshipping and fulfill orders on CJ Dropshipping using Shopify. It's going to be very simple and it's going to be very easy. I'm going to walk you through all of the steps and I'm going to sign you up with all the applications that are needed and I'm going to take you through all of the basics. It's no issue. It's going to be very simple. Just sit back, relax and listen to all of my instructions till the end of this video. And if you do that, I guarantee you that you're going to properly know how to fulfill orders on Shopify using CJ Dropshipping. So without further ado, let's get right into it. So first of all, you're going to need to be on your Shopify. So you're going to go to your Shopify login. So I'm just going to wait for that to load up. And while you're doing that, we're also going to go to our CJ dropshipping. Now, dropshipping, if you don't know what that is or if you're not familiar with it, dropshipping is basically uh, you're the supplier and you're going to dropship uh, an order or a product from some other, uh, let's say, seller to some buyer and you're the dropshipper and you're going to get a small profit or benefit out of it. So that's dropshipping and it's very beneficial if you're into e-commerce and you have a web store. I recommend that you start doing it and you use CJ dropshipping for it. So now that you're familiarized, we're going to go to the cbcdropshipping.com website. And once we're over here, obviously you're going to need to get yourself logged in. Now the login process is a bit lengthy, so just make sure to uh, fulfill all the information and descriptions needed because it's just a standard procedure. Now, you're also going to need to create a proper Shopify store. So I have many over here. I'm just going to click on any one of these and I'm just going to load myself up. Now, once I am loaded up into my Shopify store and I'm also loaded up into my CJ dropshipping, remember that you're going to have to integrate the both of these softwares. Now, what is integration? Integration is combining something. So we're going to combine CJ dropshipping and our Shopify store. Now for that, you can do it but using CJ dropshipping or you can also do it using your Shopify. I find it much more easier doing it just using CJ dropshipping. So what you're going to need to do is you're going to click on my CJ. You're going to wait for it to load up. And once you click on my CJ and it loads up, what's going to happen is you're going to come down here and you're going to click on store authorization. And once you click on store authorization, you're going to get all of these different stores here like Shopify, TikTok, eBay, WooCommerce, ShipStation, API, Lazada. So we're going to do Shopify because that's the store we're going to be working with. So once you do that, you can click on either add store or create another store. And it says by clicking authorize, you will be redirected to the app page in Shopify where you should click add app. So we're going to click on authorize. And it's going to bring us here. Uh, obviously, we're going to log in. I'm just going to wait for it to load up. And we're going to log in with our account. And once we log in with our account, it brings us here. It asks us for our store. And once you click on your store, it's going to give you the ad app option. Now, the app isn't currently available uh, in like uh, my country or it maybe isn't available at the moment on the Shopify app store. Now, if it gives this error, you can just create a Shopify store with a different, uh, let's say, country. So then you all just need to add it. And once you add it, what's going to happen is your CJ dropshipping is going to be properly integrated with your Shopify. And you're going to go back to my CJ. Now, nothing's going to be changed over here. Here, what's going to happen is you're going to go into your orders. And obviously, we don't have any orders right now to dropship orders from your CJ dropshipping to your Shopify. What you need to do is you're going to go to your CJ dropshipping uh, dashboard. And once you're in your dashboard, you're going to go to, let's say, you're going to go to orders. Once you go to orders, you're going to click on imported orders. I'm going to wait for that to load up. Once you go on imported orders, what's going to happen is it's going to give you this URL uh, where you can add any type of URL from, let's say, Amazon or eBay or Alibaba or AliExpress. And you can import their products over here and then you can import that product to your Shopify store. You're going to see those products added over here. Now, if those products are fulfilled 
it's going to show order for will be fulfilled. But if it's not fulfilled, it's going to say unfulfilled. And that is what we're here to do today. We're here to fulfill that order. Now, to fulfill that order, what you're going to need to do is you're going to go to my CJ. And once you're in my CJ, you're going to go to imported orders. Once you're in imported orders, you're going to click on sync store orders. You're going to select the store that you just integrated and you're going to click sync now. Now, once you click on sync now, what's going to happen is it's going to load for a bit. It takes uh, a few minutes because obviously it syncs all the orders from your store. Now, once it syncs the orders, it's going to show your orders over here. If there's any unfulfilled order, you're going to click on that and you're going to add it to your cart. Now, once you add it to your cart, you're going to come down here where it says cart and you're going to click on dropship orders. Now, once you click on dropship orders, what's going to happen is it's going to load you up into this prompt or this page. This is where the order that you just carted comes. And basically, you're going to click on that order. And down here, as you can see, it says submit. What's going to happen is when you choose that order and you click on submit, what's going to happen is it's going to submit that order and it's going to ask you if uh, you actually want to drop ship or buy that order. And once you do that, it's going to successfully uh, ship that order to whatever address the customer that bought the product from you put and it's going to be drop shipped to that place and obviously the money will already be given by the customer to you and you're going to give that money to the drop shippers so yeah that's basically how easy it is to fulfill an order and obviously uh, it's a very hefty and uh let's say lengthy process but you get used to it by time because uh, obviously there are a lot of orders if you have if you run a successful e-commerce store and there are tons of orders that leave on unfulfilled you can also uh, let's say if you want to list multiple orders to be fulfilled you can list all of them uh, let's say you come on over here and see to drop shipping and you see all these different products that you want let's say I want this automatic cat toy uh, you can either click on list or you can just click on connect and what this this is going to do is it's going to connect it to your Shopify store even over here you can again click on list or connect and what this does is it connects or lists the product into our Shopify store so let's say I I come here and you see all the different uh, details of this order. You can authorize your store, first of all. Once you do that, you're going to choose your store, choose the shipping warehouse. Once you've chosen all that, all you need to do is you're going to click on Listen Now. And once you click on that, you're going to come to your Shopify store. And in your Shopify store, you're going to go to your products. And once you go to the products, once you have drop shipped them or listed them from your seat of drop shipping to your Shopify, you, all those products that were there with all the details, the titles, and all the different variants, all of them are going to be displayed into your Shopify. And that is how basically easy it is to use CJ Dropshipping to add or fulfill your orders on Shopify. So yeah, that's the basic of it. And I hope this video was helpful and easy to you. If you have any more questions or any queries related to the video, let me know down in the comments. And if you want to see more videos like this, please let me know that as well. But yeah, that was all from me. I hope you all have a great day. And uh, until then, I'm going to go. That's all from me. Goodbye.